human cloning hot topic in today's society, but is it possible and ethical? These are some of the questions scientists and politicians have been trying to answer for years. So come with me as I show you human cloning, the pinnacle of genetic duplication. Clone can be positive or negative. Do the positives far outweigh the negatives? Is it just too big a risk? Are we not prepared to have clones in our society? And is it ethical? That one you'll have to make up your own mind on. Well, cloning effectively involves turning a normal cell from the body of an animal or human back into an embryo. And in order to do this, scientists take an egg from the animal that they want to clone because it will contain the right environment from which uh, the embryo will develop. Then uh, they remove the nucleus from the egg because it contains the DNA. So they then have an empty egg. Next, they uh, take uh, a cell from somewhere else in the animal's body, for example, the skin. And they take the DNA from this nucleus of the cell, the skin, and they put it into the egg cell. So effectively, they're taking the genetic information from the animal or person and putting it into an egg. Uh, they then let that egg develop and it goes through the normal stages of development and we uh, can implant this egg into a surrogate mother and uh, this is the most successful way of cloning so far and we've uh, seen it work on Dolly the Sheep for example. back at ancient societies there were some prohibitions even about mixing kind of plants together or being selective in breeding and yet we know that those kind of endeavours have brought tremendous benefit. So I, I don't want to be a kind of person who says that just because it's new, just because it's uncharted territory, we shouldn't go there. You know, human beings have always, you know, boldly gone where no one has gone before. It's part of our makeup. I, I think where where the concerns would lie you know, if we think about what kind of God that Christians and Jewish people believe in, we, we, we say that, that God is a God who creates, so is creative. Uh, we say that there's an integrity in creation because it's been created by God and it has a worth in of, of itself. And we say that human life is very precious. So when we look at any kind of new technology or new frontier for humanity, we've got to say, does it preserve these things? Does it, does it preserve the sanctity of life? Stretching the friendship between what technical mankind should and can do. Um, basically, I'm not a religious person, but I'm a pretty spiritual person. So I would uh, prefer if any reproduction of the human species was done by a natural process rather a, than a um, process that has not interfered by it, but major input from the human race, a la scientists. And my biggest concern is that I just don't trust individuals to trust their own ego. has been uh, quite um, well documented over history. So there have been some people who have a particular value or hierarchy of values and think that they may be more right than someone else. 